nominations, what do you think would be uh, the mood? What is the mood of the judges? Oh, the mood of the judges. That's an interesting question. Well, it, I think there's a lot of soul in this year's list, actually. It's quite interesting because you have a, a, a lot of different kinds of soul. You've got the vintage soul of someone like Michael Kiwanuka. You've also got the very kind of soul pop kind of call into mind sardine soul to soul of someone like jesse ware and then you know field music i think that's a kind of a blue-eyed soul um record in some ways so i think soulful would you say it's more of a traditional music than a progressive innovative i think one of the interesting things that this list shows is that everything exists forever now in the internet age you know there's not that kind of linear experience of music where trends drop away and, and it ceases to exist so someone like michael come along and make a record that is extremely vintage sounding because to him that's a fresh experience and, and because you know the music of roy ayers or you know bill withers that really inspired him continues to exist forever everything's in perpetuity now and i think the kind of playfulness that people are picking and choosing genres and eras to take their their music's inspiration from shows that that shows that you know the internet has lateralized music Mm -hmm. So, um, in the internet age, how do you think those, those, those brands promote themselves with the break point for them? Well, I think, you know, that's a, one of the good things about the Mercury Prize is that, that is, it's a great showcase for records that otherwise might not have been brought to people's attention. You know, a lot, part of the criteria of the prize is, you know, albums that you can recommend to people that would otherwise they wouldn't have known about. And I think for artists like, say, um, Jesse Ware on the list, I think Leanne Le Havis, I think Michael again and Ben Howard, they're all albums that actually a really broad range of people would enjoy and, and should be encouraged to check out and try. Um, so something like this is quite important. And you yourself, coming from music background, I was wondering, with having this in mind, you could say, who would appreciate the hour the most? Or oh, who would appreciate? Well, I don't know. I think... I think even if they wouldn't admit it, everyone's probably quite proud and, and, and rightly so to be on the list. Uh, you know, I, I'm really pleased that Field Music have been included. You know, they're from my hometown and are, are good are friends of mine. So I think it's it's the right time. It's their fourth or fifth, depending how you count it, uh, album. And yeah, so I, I'm, I'm really pleased for them. Someone like Richard Hawley, I think, you know, this is his most commercially successful album. But it would be really exciting to see him rewarded with the Mercury Prize. He's been nominated a few times. And again, actually, I think Plan B, even though, you know, it's the big pop hit record, it's a very timely album. He's kind of channeling in anger and talking about things that I think it's important that they are discussed in music at the moment. Um, and so it would be great to see that, that given a prize for that. You know, it's difficult to say who's going to get it, but I think everybody would appreciate it in a different way. I think that's why it's very 